Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, which is going to be a long one, so give yourself a drink, give yourself a snack, whatever it is that you want to get, or get your crafty stuff ready. So this is, I believe, part 5, which is the, this is the entirety of shelf 3, so it's going to be a long one. Um, so yeah. Um, the first stack here, as you know, there's a lot of pictures finished in, and then we moved to more of a, a mixed bag. So let's get right into it. The first books I have here are my Kirby Rosanna's books. First one here is Dual Invasion, which I believe was his very first comic book. Um, this one I do not have anything in yet. Uh, this one I just got in the big Happy Meal um, of the summer. So this is just very early doodly um, aliens and stuff like that. I really like this one. This reminds me of um, Mythomorphia. So I do plan on doing something in here very, very soon. It's just I haven't been in a Kobe Rosanna's mood. But if I'm being honest, I feel it coming back, especially because I think in... Is it February or March? He's coming out with a new book. Then we have Phantom Morphia. This book here I did go through and I was pre-planning a lot of pages and I don't like the paint I was using because it is it was a um <clears throat> a kid's finger paint. Uh, I found it at um Ollie's for super cheap. It's like this will work for paint. Yeah, well, the paint is chipping off, so like that. Um, so I need to get a new Phantom Morphia. So this is what I was doing. We see, like, um, I don't know how well it'll show up because it's a dark color, but it's very dry and it's, um, excuse me. But it's very dry, it's um, starting to crack. So I did go through, you know, do the backgrounds, do a little bit of a, um, a super tip um, base. This is just watercolor. Here's one of my finishes. So I will go through the new book um, that I get of this version. I probably do a lot of the similar things to it by just kind of working on um, the book throughout like, by like, one page at a time. So I did three, I finished three pages in here. I think it is it. Yeah. So I will do, but I'll probably do the same thing, it's just, um, I want to do it now that, like, with the acrylic paints that I have, the alcohol markers like that, um, and Geomorphia, this one, I only have a whip in, which is this one right here, and I'm being honest, I do really love this book. It's just, every time I pull out all of the, um... Like, there's a lot of, like, mounds and stones, so that, like, this one I really want to do eventually. But, like, all the stone work and the gem work, so that it doesn't... It doesn't inspire me as much as, like, other, um, curly images. So this is color morphy, this is a... Um... Like, a greatest hits version of his book. His books. Now I do have some whips in here. <clears throat> I have this one right here. Which this I am using just Crayola color pencils on. And this one I use with Prismas. This is Prisma as well, I just haven't finished it yet. <clears throat> Neuro Whip with Prismas and Neo 2 background. 
And then I finished this one as a color and chat match now with my polychromos. Imagine more if I do have <clears throat> this copy here was the uh, the copy that came in the big half here. I gave my mom my original copy because this one has ooh, excuse me, this one has really thick paper. So I did start a whip. I just put a watercolor wash down. One day I feel like playing with washes. So I used um some glittery like reflective paint. This is the Ortiz and Metallics, I believe. Um, but I used that and I just I feel like doing um a, some watercoloring that day. I just watercoloring. Never felt like coming back to it. And then Myth of Morphia, this is the one that I have the most work in. Um, I do have some, another copy of them, or I did have, is my mom's copy now. Um, I want to get another copy of this because this book is falling apart. I'm going to go through, actually, I think, and eventually get um, the UK copies of um, his books. Because, I don't know where to go. Is it over there? Where did it go? It was in the wrong spot. Hold on one second. There we go. The UK version of Color Morphia is actually, if you look closely in it, has cloth bound to it as well as being glue bound, which means it will less likely fall apart on you. So, I want to get that for the rest. I would like to finish Mythomorphia one day. So I have the Hippogriff. And these, and this book is all done with um, Prismas, some gel pen, pasta, and acrylic paint. So I have my Hippogriff. Oh, nope, nope, I was wrong. These are Ortiz's. No? The pink is Ortiz, I believe, and the blue is um, Prisma. I think. Yeah. And then acrylic paint. This is my favorite one, my Chimera. As you see, I had to put some packing tape in there because the book was falling apart. As you see it right there. It is coming unglued. This I just did the night sky and did a wash of watercolor. I did the Sandman. The Yeti page. Oh, and some stickles there. Jim Werewolf. Did the Fire Dragon. We did the Phoenix. <clears throat> Or did the Medusa Serpent uh, Lady? And I believe it. I did the ghoul in the back. And that is it. 
Jurassic Book I want to do again in the UK version, so I can set it down and not worry about falling apart and finish it. So next is World Within Worlds. I did this turbo page. This is the very first one I did in there. Did the dragon page. This is my very first time using acrylic wash for the red and then prismas on top. Just did a night sky there. <coughs> when I was just in the mood to do a night sky. I did my Chinese dragon. This one I'm currently working on. See, so wash through the whole page, and I'm gonna shade it all in. Just do the sky again. We did candles as a color in chat. I did the L, the eagle. And that is it. I put my paint protector back in. <laughs> Next we have the magical city. This one I really want to do a page in. I am so intimidated. I actually have one bookmarked to do. I'm going to do this one right here, which is Luxo, uh, uh, Luxo. But we want to do this one here. But I'm very intimidated. I think this is going to be one of the ones I, I try to tackle next month. And just sit down and do it. <clears throat> Or at least sit down and start it. Now we're into the collection of Japan Bassfords. You may have seen Ivy Inky last time because I had it in the wrong spot. We have Lost Ocean, which my book is falling apart. And I'm pretty much just doing this I was doing this one from front to back and then I did eventually stop. Mostly just because it is too tiny. <coughs> Grab that one done. <coughs> I was playing around on that page. That is pretty much it. It is it's too small of line of lines. <coughs> this is my First copy of All the Flowers, my second one I think I've already shown you. If not, you've seen the pages recently, if you go to my, um... My November finishes, you'll see it, what I've done. This one here I did in Castle Art Pencils. And this one was Prisma, the Gel Pen, and Acrylic Paint. Don't remember everything I used on that page. That was the last one in that book. Enchanted Forest. I have done a few. I have this one. I want to do it all in one color. So yes, it is technically still one color, even though it's red, because that was the Pentel Sparkle Pop Black, which is technically a metallic red, and the rest is just Black glitter gel pen. It's probably one of my all time favorite pages I have done. Then, I do have this as a whip. And then I've done this one. Once again, all oh, glitter gel pens. This is my first copy of Japan Christmas. I did show you the other one already. 
This is the first page I've done. I was going, I think, in order, you know, because I do the first page. <laughs> this one, I, I did my very first guy, uh, my Prismas. I didn't know what I was doing with them. <laughs> Now, the next three books are the same book. <coughs> yes, I do have multiple copies. Yes, <coughs> yes, it is my favorite Jarena Bassford book. And I got them all for $1.99. So, um, technically, I had four, but I gave my mom one or two copies, I think. I had four or five, I think I had four copies. So that was Magical Jungle. So I have these two. Here's what I call my denim butterfly. I did them all like denim colors except for the pink. And my toucan. I think it's a toucan. <laughs> And I was really happy with a lot of pages here. This is when I really started to uh, practice my my blending with Prismas. So this is Prisma and gel pen, and this is my very first page I did with um, Polychromos. So this is one of the very first books I really tried to blend with my Prismas. See this copy. <clears throat> no, but so a blank copy. This one is my, I think I was doing, this is Prisma, I believe. Could be wrong. That is my um, Polychromos. And this was um, Arteza. Next we have... <clears throat> Fairy Tales by Emily Lindhall Oberg. I finished the title page. A little book belongs to page. And then I have a whip. Which you need to get back to, I just I'm not in the BT mood right now. The next two books are Millie Mulattas. I do really want to color in these, it's just I'm confused by the paper. Because it is very it's nice paper, but it's very, very Almost feels creamy, but like in a way that I don't know how it would work, you know? I think this is what I have to mark to do. I want to do the dragonfly. But I don't know how it's going to work. The paper in here is very, very, very smooth. This one I need to say on Colin, because she's one of my favorite authors, um, Debbie Maycomber. This is Come Home to Color, which just has stuff inspired from her Rose Harbor and Blossom Street series. So it's just, you know, scenery scenes, stuff like that. I really just need to get into this book. But it's one of the ones, like, it's one of the ones that I really, really love. So, yeah, you get nervous to color it. Next one, The Flower Fairies. There's another one that was in the Big Happy Mail. 
And I just haven't got around to it just yet. But I do want to color it because it has some really nice, um, simple images in there. So I feel like this is going to be a good book, like a break book in between, like, really, um, like busy pages like Kirby's. So we have The Beauty of Horror 1, and I did do one page in here. Which I did the Psycho Killers. Obviously, I have the Psycho Killers in a Alan Robert book. Beauty of Horror 2. I think I've done actually two in here. I've done the Skull Triplets. And then I've done the Shining Twins. And fittingly enough, I did three pages in book three with a whip. <laughs> so I have the tombstone, or two whips technically. This is a little poem thing I wrote for one of my books that I published. Short story collection. So I wrote it on the tombstone. Did the fun house with my watermelon clown, as I call it. And the tickets and missions. And this is my whip. And then I've done... I showed how to do Guliana there. The Dunk the Dead page. And I think I do have another whip. So I have three whips in here. Fitting. Three finishes and three whips. And I do have the fourth book, which I did show in a video, I believe. <laughs> then I have the Beauty of Horror Tricks and Treats. And I finished the Frolicking Pumpkin Guy, or Pumpkin Person. And I have done the Beauty of, oh, I have Beauty of Horror Ghosts of Christmas. Should I have done this one? I have this one as a whip. And I've done Gulliana Claws. Last one for this stack is Mythographic Animals. I don't have anything done here. I don't know if I'm going to get to this book or give it to my mom. My mom does like busy coloring books. Um. I just, I don't know if this is my style of books. I just kept it for the time being because it's in the big Happy Mail um, books um, that, I, that came. I kept it because like, I really wanted to do a page. The more it sits there, I think I might just give it to my mom because she does like the busy images like that. It does, it's hard to isolate, but she has a magnifying glass to color with. Um, and she likes the busy pages like Kirby books and stuff like that. So I might just give that one to her. And we are now 50% of the way through. We're on stack two. And then you'll just pause like that in the video because I have a little bit of sore throat right here. Or a dry throat, not sore throat. So I'm drinking plenty of tea. <coughs> I have some, <coughs> excuse me, ice green tea. So I have the tarot card coloring book. I have a whip here I need to get back to. Which is which is with prismas. I need to get back to it. Okay, take two. We're showing this book, the Scandinavian Cone book. I just have a whip in here. When I got to the page, it had the packing slip on there, which had my address. So I need to get back to this book. Um, I just got so the images were super cute in it, and it was cheap. <laughs> I have the Time Chamber and the Night Voyage by Darius Song. I did have the Time Garden, but my mom has been coloring in her version of the Time or the Night Voyage. She loves it, so I gave her Time Garden so that she has a, um, 
uh, full set. I'm gonna show you all three books. And I did do one page in one of these. Nope, not this one. Did this one right here. My mom is in love with this book. She drove a friend back so far. I think she's done. My mom is up to this page, I believe. And she loves her books. So I was like, I'm going to give her the other one. And she has a full set. Next, we have my Romantic Country book. This is The Third Tale. I have the chapter one page. I have this rip I started and then I really loved how I did it close and I didn't kill myself from doing the rest. The chapter two page. I'm really going through this book right now and just doing the chapter pages. So this is going to be my next project in the book. <laughs> I have the, the babushka lady I need to get back to. I have this one here. I have the birthday page I did for my birthday one year. I have the witch. I think I did this one just this year. <laughs> Or last year, and then I have the final page here. I just started. Um, I realized I don't like to do food too much, or I'm not good at food. We have the second tail, which this one yep. this is my first copy of the second tail. I have a couple, and I probably will have third or fourth copies of these books because I love them. And you want to grab copies while they are in print. Because the third one is currently not, and the third tail is not in print here in the US, I believe. So I'm going to grab, I think, one or two copies of the first, um, one or two copies extra of the first second tail just to have. And this is my second um, copy of the second tail. I have done this one. <clears throat> and this one. This is using um, <clears throat> Arteza. The Arteza work really good in this paper. And then this one I was trying to do watercolors, and watercolors aren't really the best on this paper. And then, this is my second copy of the first tale, and this is my markers only, or markers and gel pen only, as I'm calling it, I'm going to front to back with it, and I'm just using water-based media, and acrylic paint back there, but mostly, you know, the coloring is just water-based media. Uh, water-based markers, I should say, not water-based media. This is where I'm at right now. And I did do... This one in a video. And as you'll see, this is blacked out because I used alcohol markers on this side. And now, we have my very first copy of The First Tale, which has a lot of pages done in it. We have this one that I intimidate myself because I love how this um, building turned out. 
that I psyched myself out to finish the page. <laughs> this was when I just got like super, super confident with my prismas. And I psyched myself out. With this one here. Just a wash there. Did that one there, I think, as a video, actually. This one took me forever to do because of the food, so I pretty much just finished it with gel pen of food. My very first page ever colored in here. This one I tested was her pencils out and still wasn't the best. Um, didn't really work out to the best in there. Didn't like them ones guys, just go past that page fast. <laughs> Did the wishing well. Finish that page there. Did the windmill page. <laughs> this one. And did the rainbow castle. Okay, this is the old rainbow castle lost in the woods, and this would be the new one. <laughs> Next we have. <laughs> Cute and creepy, like my air cow. My head is whipped, didn't come back to it. Next one, this is Pop Manga Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures. I did this lady here. Playing around backgrounds. Did her with Polychromos. I enjoyed Polychromos so much that it actually did all the bows as pencil instead of gel pen. Or just painting over them. Did that, I started that one with Polys. And then I did this one with Prisma. And then the original pop manga. I think I just have a whip and a finish. Both towards the, yeah, all towards the back. Had a little boy there as a whip. And then... Did this one. And Crayolas. <laughs> this book I recently hauled. Oops, sorry about that. It's Unicorns and Mythical Creatures. It has glow in the dark pages. The reason I haven't colored it, because I really want to, is I'm kind of nervous on how. Can you hear this? The glow in the dark features is kind of textured, and not all the pages have the glow in the dark um, stuff on it. Okay, you can really see the shiny thing is the glow in the dark, so I don't know if you're supposed to ignore the glow in the dark part, but like it's not. On the lines, like over onto the skin. So I just I haven't felt like testing it out just just yet. Cats. We have a whip. We're gonna find it. Apparently, I can't find it. 
Here it is. I'm just doing this with Marco so far. I'm gonna have this finish here. <clears throat> Mysterious Plants by Icono. I've had this book for almost two, three years, no, three, four years now, three years now. Got a book outlet because I really, really, I wanted this book so bad. And I'm too intimidated to call it because I love it so much. <clears throat> So I just want to look at to enjoy. The Moral Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I have this page here of Simon. Which, of course, the other cheese is put yellow on it. <clears throat> the Witcher. I have this page. And then this is just like a chest page of pencils. And then I started this page with, um, which honestly, I have perfectly sense of just in case. Um, this is with the uh, Amazon Basics. They killed my hand, so I have I don't have um, sets of them anymore. And this is just Polly's, and I haven't got back to it. <coughs> Another book I am intimidated by because I love it so much: a bestiary of a bestiary of Tolkien. Or Tolkien. It's just intimidated by. It. Now this one I am kicking myself because I thought I'd actually finish the page and I haven't. That is Mystical Cats and See Your Places. And I have not finished the page yet. I have whips. Or a whip. I thought I'd finish page here, but I have not. I'm going to have to rectify that in a little bit because that is a gorgeous book. The Wizard of Oz coloring book um, by Charles Santor. Do I have anything in here? I don't know if I'm going to color this one or not because it is very difficult grayscale. I know I want to take myself because I thought I finished this page and I did not. Wonderland by Ian, uh, by um, Emily Shen. Started this page. I thought I finished it. I did not. We have Nickelodeon, the Splat Coloring Book. I finished this page. And I have a whip with the Angry Beavers. Outlander by Diana Gavaldon. Or the official one. I have this one that I finished. I haven't got any in Gnomes in the Neighborhood yet, but I do want to do one. The Search for, uh, the Search for Light Bulb Burglar. I have this one. And I was playing around with some watercolors and markers and I have finished this page, or started this page, I should say. This super gorgeous, gorgeous book. Harry Potter, a cinematic gallery. For your finder, we have John Luna, I love good. And then I have two books that came in the big happy mail. The third one and only Mandela Cone book and the second one only. These are Super Jumbos Mandalas. 
And to be honest, I don't feel I haven't felt like committing to that video in the end all yet. And the final one, which is another one I'm taking myself because I thought I finished this page. The Book of Beasts. <laughs> I thought I finished my werewolf, and I did not. So I really need to get back to this book. It is super gorgeous. I love this one. I, I, I don't want to do this one. I want to do the Phoenix. So yeah, that is it for part five. Let's see if I can uncross my legs here because my foot fell asleep. Um, I know how to put all these books back on my shelf, so um. Anyone want to help? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. He'll get uploaded, it, edit it, upload it. And I'm going to go to bed. So it is late in the evening. So I hope you all enjoyed part 5. Part 6 will be coming very, very soon, which will be the final part of my calling book collection. I want to get this finished by the end of the year. So that is it for today. I hope you all have an amazing day. Until next time, happy coloring.